Hello everyone, Prozwell here, back with another tutorial and today in this tutorial I'll be explaining you how to use FaceTime on a Windows PC. So basically FaceTime is an application that allows you to chat with another person on an iOS device. So basically FaceTime is a video chatting application available for all the iOS devices or the Apple Uses. If you are a FaceTime user, uh, you use FaceTime on your phone or your iPhone but you don't have a Mac operating system to use FaceTime on your laptop or your personal computer. So this is a tutorial for you and if you are using Windows, uh, basically I'm using Windows 8 so if you're using Windows 7 or Windows 8, this tutorial should work fine. So. Uh, first of all, you'll have to download and actually install some applications. Uh, first of all, you'll have to download and install VMware Workstation or VMware Player. First of all, I'm using VMware Workstation for this tutorial. And you can use a VMware Player as well because VMware Player is free. And for VMware Workstation, you'll have to purchase a license to use it or to run the machine on the virtual workstation. VMA Workstation 8 so uh, I'll leave the download links for all the applications and the things you're gonna need in this tutorial and description below so do not forget to check that so first of all what you need to do is you'll have to go to VMware's website and download the version of VMware that you want to use for yourself so I'm using VMA Workstation version 8 for this tutorial so you can download VMware player uh, VMware Workstation any version that you want to use so VMware player is free and VMware Workstation is not so you'll have to download and again purchase a serial key for VMware Workstation to run the virtual machines on VMware Workstation so rem rem remember that so first of all after you've downloaded the VMware and install it on your PC it should look something like this or if you're using a VMware player it should look something like this so it's basically the same the way you open the virtual machine might be a bit different but the thing is the same so VMware workstation after this actually VMware is not configured to install macOS operating system on VMware so actually what you have to do is you have to unlock this VMware which allows you to install macOS operating system or that configures VMware to run macOS operating system on it successfully. So first of all, you have to download the unlocker. I've dropped the link in the description for the unlocker as well. So you can download the unlocker from there and run the unlocker. The unlocker should look something like this. So you're using VMware unlocker. So macOS guest. If you're using VMware 7.1 series, you should run this. And since I'm using VMware 8 series, I'm using this. I'm using Unlocker on Windows. So I should use this one and just choose or find out the right version and the right works, uh, right version of the VMware and the right VMware for you. So I'm using this one. So after this, what you have to do is you have to right click on the install and click on run as administrator if you do not do that it will the program will run and it will say stopping VMware services and it will freeze at this point it will not go any further so if you forget to run it as an administrator you will not be able to go further that so right click on install and click on run as administrator if you have a password or something like that, just enter the password. I don't have a password, so I'll just go and press yes. at stopping VMS services. And as you can see, it's doing the stuff and configuring the VMware. So now it's done. I'll just go and restart my VMware workstation. So after you've unlocked your VMware and you've installed your VMware, You've configured it to install macOS operating system on your VMware. Now you'll have to download a VMware image of Mac operating system. That's actually, you're going to also download and install a macOS 
straight into the VMware like you install an operating system on your laptop or a PC but to make it easy you can find a VMware image of the operating system pre-installed and best part is that you don't have to download or you don't have to configure anything you just download the image from the internet and this you can load it on the VMware so it's really easy so I'll leave the download links for actually I'll leave a torrent link for the VMware image for the macros operating system in the description below so you can download it it must be somewhere around 4 to 5 gigabytes so you'll need a good connection to download it in short period of time so let me open VMware workstation once again so from here you have to open the virtual machine and navigate to the folder where you downloaded and extracted your machine and you should see something like this VMware virtual machine configuration so it's already configured it's already installed in VMware click on that click on open so depending on the configuration of your laptop or your PC you can edit the virtual machine settings and you can increase the number of processes and you can increase the memory that you want to give so basically uh, by default it's one gigabyte and number of processes should be one or two I've increased the number of processes to two number of core per processor to two and memory to two and a half gigs so after that power on on the virtual machine so if you have not unlocked your VMware you should not see or you will not see the Apple logo and this screen so if you are um, if you don't get this screen if you just get a blank screen and nothing loads up then your VMware has not been configured properly or the image that you downloaded uh, was crashed cut up or something so basically the one I'm using is the one in the download links so it should be fine because it's working fine for me uh, the only reason that you're getting a blank screen or black screen and not this screen is that you've not configured your VMware properly or you don't you have not unlocked your VMware properly so just look in that step try to get the process right to unlock the VMware so it might take four or five minutes five to ten minutes to load up so I'll be back after that so as you can see uh, everything has loaded up and it's the welcome screen so I'm from Australia so I'll select Australia and if you don't find do not find all the countries or you don't find your country in the list just click on so all and you can find all the countries in the list so I'm gonna choose Australia continue and choose a layout if you don't find your key vote click on so all I'm just gonna choose Australian continue and you can transfer information to this Mac so if you're not uh, experienced users of the virtual machines it's really difficult to do this so just click on not now and click on continue enable location services disable that as well you don't need it continue don't use so you can sign in with your Apple ID so we're not gonna do this for now so just click on skip skip it click on agree and give it a name full name your account name and the password password hint and click on continue oops let's give it a password hint as well click on continue it's creating your account You gotta choose your location for your time. So click on that. It's gonna select it from here. It's Melbourne. 
melt there you go so that's the time zone for me click on continue you can register I'm not gonna do that for now click on skip skip it thank you your Mac is now set up and ready to use so you've successfully set up your Mac and now you're good to go so click on start using a Mac as you can see I'm in my home screen you can see all the apps down here so here's the FaceTime app so as you can see there's no webcam it says that you don't have a webcam installed on your PC so what you need to do to make your webcam connected to this is you have to go to top of the VMware screen and click on VM click on removable devices and click on your webcam like mine is micro to your laptop and you get a webcam HD so click on that and click on connect what you will do is this will disconnect the webcam from my windows and connect it to my virtual machine and then it should work so click on FaceTime now so as you can see the FaceTime has detected my webcam and you can sign in from here and start using FaceTime So that's how you use FaceTime on your Windows PC so another thing is that you have to configure internet so there's another video that shows you how to configure internet in your virtual machine or Mac OS in virtual machine so just watch that video and you should your internet should be working fine thank you guys if this has helped do not forget to give it a thumbs up and if you want to watch more tutorials like this do not forget to subscribe and thank you for being here hope this helps